Hey everybody, this is Pam from the Paper Outpost and today I am using up some more book pages. And I thought I, I am make, I'm making a big pile of these, um, these tall coin pocket book pages. And I've got an easy way to make them and so I thought I'd just share with you. And you can make them out of regular book pages or dictionary book pages, music paper pages, or just magazine pages with some cool co um, pictures or colors that you like. So uh, let's get to it. All right. So very easy concept. You take your page. Let me make sure everything's showing up here. Okay. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to fold it like this. And what you want to do is run a bead of glue down this side. Very thin. You don't want too much because you want it to dry fast. Doesn't matter which side you do actually. But uh, take that in and just wherever you want to make the join. You do that, that'll make the decision on how wide your, your uh, pocket is, um, is going to be. A little envelope here. And what I like to do is I remove the white parts on top just so I have lots of, uh, lots of um, printing on the page just for extra added eyeball enjoyment. Now here is um, an easy part that you can do a couple of ways. You can either use regular scissors or you can use um, a pair of these, uh, you know, any of these designer scissors if you want to do something fun. But what you want to do is you want to fold it towards where you glued. And this is what makes it easy. Okay, so let's say you want to use the, the fancy scissors. All you're going to do is go from here up to there. Or you can even vary the shape of that because it'll give you a different, different style um, um, envelope at the top. And then you drop those, you still hold together, you come down to the bottom and you just do a little corner angle, just a small one. Okay. So now what you've got essentially is a tube. And what you do is you take your tube, you open it up, and then you fold it this way so that these little edges come together, top and bottom. Okay, so you hold that. Let's see if I put you in here. And now what you want to do is, here's where you glued it together. You do what I call a deep cut. You can almost mirror the angle of that. It can be a pretty deep cut because that's going to that's going to be basically your little thumb pull. And then you do the same thing at the bottom, but it's a shallower cut. So you don't cut horizontal, you cut a little bit on an angle. It's just going to make it easier to fold everything up. And you are pretty much done. And what's nice is uh, everything comes out mid-center and it's uh, nice and even. And um, next you just take a little dab of glue here. It can be any kind, doesn't matter. And then you just fold it on up. And that completes your pocket. So at this point you might say, hey, that's kind of plain. I need some pizzazz. So you pull out your old inker dinker <laughs> and you start inking and you can use any color, not always uh, having to use the vintage photo. Sometimes we can use greens or blues or pinks or purple, whatever we want. That's right. This little color. Okay. Now you can do the back as well if you are going to have this be a removable piece and maybe you want to show the back. Um, but I'm going to actually attach this piece and uh, it will not be removable. So I'm not going to do the back, but I would like a little pizzazz on the front, something to make it a little more interesting. And I think a little piece of this would be just fine. It happens to be sitting on the old table looking for a home. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little Bannon flag, flag ends, Bannon ends, banner, banner, Bannon. What's that? Um, <laughs> and I'm just going to run a little bead of the old, a magnificent Fabri-Tac glue, Fabri-Fix and uh, beacon three in one. Any glue will work here, but just make it take longer to dry if it's a white glue. And uh, there we go. Little scissors. So now you have something that looks like that. Okay, and if you want to take it to the next level, you can use um, a contrasting color. Maybe you want, maybe this is going to go in a nice Victorian journal. 
and you might want to do some pinkies and this is liquid pearls if you if you do work with this stuff you just got to put it aside to dry before you use it or else it'll be all over the place and I'm just going to put some dotties here just thought it might be kind of cute down the center there we go okay now you can carry on and put more on here and more on here and uh, go to town layer and go maybe I'll put a what the heck I'm here might as well do it this is kind of pretty this is a stamp from France and I think I'll ink it up okay and if I can find a little yeah here I'm gonna take a little piece of gauze put that there and just make a little mini collage this is all just extra bonus decorating don't have to do any of this part but you can and I think I might put that right there so I'm gonna bobble down some glue okay and that's gonna go right through the back of that so and I like it when it hangs over the side a little bit if you don't like that feel free to clip it off all right oh and I think we need a little bit more here I'm gonna do some more liquid pearl and I'm just gonna whoop, do some accents to denote the edge of the envelope and you can do that on the bottom as well for extra delineation or not doesn't matter all right so there we go just gonna put her on the drying table and that's one example and uh, so here's just some other examples I took a magazine page and put some cloth ribbon down the front a couple plain ones out of music paper here's a dictionary page with yes vintage photo <laughs> and uh, here's some bling on this neutral colored one maybe I could put this on a darker background maybe a heavy coffee dyed or tea dyed paper that would show up nicely with the contrast same with this one and you are ready to go I should have oh yeah here's one more another different design I just used a piece of an old um, I believe this was a placemat and uh, a piece of uh, torn book page yep using more book pages so there you go quick and easy and um, uh, definitely uses up those book pages so I just thought I'd share that little fun tidbit with you and uh, have a happy day everybody take care Pam at the paper outpost